real saffron or fake saffron. How to do the saffron purity test. How to recognize between a fake and a real saffron. What questions to ask when you're buying saffron. And which shops to avoid when you're buying saffron online. These are a few of the topics that we will cover in this video. Hello friends, family and all the enemies that I will be making by the end of this video. In this video I will show you how to do the saffron purity test. I will show you how to recognize a real saffron from a fake saffron. And I will talk to you about questions you can ask before you buy saffron so you don't get ripped off. Beside that, I'm going to take you to a few online shops and show you fake saffron and make sure that you don't buy from these people and you don't get ripped off. If you do decide to watch this video to the end, as a token of our appreciation, we would like to give you a gift in the form of uh, some pure Persian saffron or a discount coupon. So you can get to experience the real taste of Persian saffron. Why am I doing this? Because I'm a passionate believer of speaking out against injustice. As my wife would put it, the world is the way it is today because not enough people stand up and say what needs to be said. And as the great teacher Gandhi used to say, be the change you want to see in the world. The other reason for me making this video is because I'm disgusted by a few cheaters who give the saffron industry a bad name just because they want to make a few dollars or a few hundred dollars. I feel sorry for those customers who contact me and tell me why the saffron that I bought from you is so different to the saffron that I bought from this other guy. This is a photo a customer sent me recently and he asked me why his saffron looks so different. You can imagine how devastated he was when I told him this wasn't even saffron. If you also feel that you want to do something about these cheaters Please do your bit by sharing this video on your social media with as many people as you can so that more people get educated and less cheated. And of course subscribe so you can follow our other videos on how to cook with saffron, how to prepare saffron and how to use saffron for its medicinal benefits. So how do I know all this and where do I get my information from? Well, mainly because I'm very lucky to have married a very smart woman. My wife has an engineering degree in food sciences and she's also a health advisor on a global scale. Secondly, our partner in Iran, who has grown up in a family that has been in saffron business since 1927. And now as a successful wholesaler, he's one of the co-founders of saffronice.com. And as for me, I'm a full-time merchant of saffron, and I'm also an importer and a developer of saffron products, like saffron honey, saffron soap, saffron drink, saffron cake, and many other products. So it is my business to know everything about this wonderful flower. So without further wait, let's jump right into it. I will show you four easy ways that you can tell fake saffron from real saffron. Saffron threads, or sometimes called stigma, are the three threads that the saffron flower produces. They have a very unique shape. They are like a long flute or trumpet shape. This is an easy giveaway. As you can see from this image, the saffron thread starts thin and becomes like a trumpet shape at the top. Now there is a possibility that you cannot find any whole threads in the saffron that you purchased. That's because saffron is very brittle and they break easily. So due to packaging and shipping, your saffron could have been uh, broken to very small pieces. But still, if you look hard enough, among the broken pieces, you will manage to find some of the trumpet looking saffron uh, which is testament that you have the real stuff. Which brings me to another point and that is never to buy saffron powder from a seller that you do not trust because they could have mixed anything in there as they often do. Now two of the most common tricks that is used to sell fake saffron is firstly using dried safflower which I will cover a little later on this video. But the other method is to dye anything that might look like saffron with red food coloring. Things like corn silk or even shreds of dried beef which then cut into 15-20 mm portions and dyed with food coloring. Which brings me to the second way of knowing if your saffron is real or fake. Take a pinch of your saffron, about 100 mg, and put it in a glass, like a shot glass. 
and then cover it up with about a centimeter of crushed ice. Wait for a few minutes for the ice to melt. If your saffron is real, you will have a very deep red color liquid, which also smells wonderful. Please note, there is a reason why we recommend crushed ice rather than a cube. You can watch my other video on how to correctly prepare saffron without destroying all its goodness. And we will explain the matter there. But for now, just take a look at the color of the liquid that you are left with in your glass. It needs to be deep red and it needs to have an aroma that is just amazing. If you find an oily substance on top of your liquid, that means your saffron has been mixed with something. The third way of telling if your saffron is real or not is basically the aroma, the smell of it. Saffron aroma is very sweet and earthy and it's very strong. So sometimes you don't even have to open the can or open the package. You can actually smell it from outside the packaging. That's how strong saffron smell is. So if you already have some saffron or you're thinking of buying some, just do the aroma test. And if you cannot get a very strong, earthy and sweet smell, then it's probably not a very good crop. It could be an old crop or it's not saffron at all. And try to stay away from that. But if you haven't bought saffron yet and you're planning to buy, here are three questions you can ask the seller just to make sure that you're not getting ripped off. The first thing you need to notice is the packaging of your product. Saffron should not be put into glass or plastic. If the company that is selling the saffron doesn't know or doesn't care about their packaging, I would suggest you get away from that shop as fast as you can. What do I mean? Some of you might know that saffron is extremely sensitive to heat and light. In fact, in our own farms, we pick our saffron between midnight and 6-7 a.m. before the sun comes up. This is because the flower is at its most active state during those hours. If you have walked in a garden at night time, you would notice that the flowers smell from a long distance away. And that's because the flowers are at their most active state during the night. Not only we pick in the night hours, but we also dry the saffron in a room temperature, not in a dehydration machine. That's because we don't want to heat the product. When it comes to packaging, we use tin cans to protect our saffron as much as possible. So when you buy our saffron and you open it, this is basically the first time that the saffron is seeing the light of the day after it was picked. The reason for all of this is saffron has one of the highest amounts of antioxidants amongst all plants. Just like a good olive oil is put into a dark glass, a good quality saffron should not be exposed to light. That means it should be packaged in a container that is light proof, like a tin can. So if you see saffron in plastic or glass, then you should think twice about buying that saffron, especially if the product is in PVC plastic. That's a big no-no because saffron picks up the smell of PVC and you don't want that in your food nor in your body. A saffron that has been packaged in plastic or glass and it's been sitting on a shelf for two or three months it's probably lost most of its goodness, most of its active ingredients. That's probably not the product that you want to pay for and buy. The second thing you can ask the seller to protect yourself is if he or she has a money back guarantee. Now, if the product is good and if there are confidence about it, then there shouldn't be any problem. They will let you have the product and if you're not happy, they should return your money back. In fact, in our return policy on our website, we have stated that you can buy the saffron and use up to 1% of it. If you're not happy, if you don't think that you have the best saffron in the world, just let us know and we'll take it back. We'll give you your money without any question. The third thing you can do to protect yourself against getting ripped off when you buy in saffron is to ask the seller if they have a lab test. An independent lab test looks something like this. In this lab test, you can compare the quality of the saffron you're buying with the international standards. If the numbers are equal or higher than the international standard, then you know the product has passed the test. Now I'm going to show you two shops on eBay. One is making false claims, the other one is selling fake saffron. I really hope you join me in reporting these crooks and hopefully eBay will take their shops down or give them a warning. So here is crook number one. The shop is called Buy Copper Direct. This person is selling a flower called Safflower, which is nothing like saffron. At the time of making this video, he has ripped off over 83 people. 
Now, let me tell you a little bit about safflower. Safflower is a highly branched, herbaceous, thistle-like annual plant. It is commercially cultivated for vegetable oil extract from the seed, and it was used by the early Spanish colonies along the Rio Grande River as a substitute for saffron. This is what the dried safflower looks like, and it doesn't smell or taste anything like saffron. If you are willing to stand up and do something about this, let's report this guy right now so hopefully eBay will take his shop down or give him a warning. How to report to eBay? Please go down the page where the description is and click on report item. Then choose copyright and trademark. Below that choose counterfeit item or authenticity disclaimer. And after that choose the option counterfeit, fake or replica items and click continue. Here eBay will ask you for a brief description, which you can say whatever you want. eBay only allows 100 characters, so it needs to be short. The second shop which I'm going to blow the whistle on is this guy, under the name Saffron.Bazaar. Now this guy or girl is claiming that their saffron is organic. But that is not possible, because Iran does not have an organic certification system. So I have asked him to provide his certification. Which in return, he replied, our products are 100% organic, but not certified organic. We buy our products from a family owned and run farm, and the quality of the product is guaranteed. So this person is not even a farmer, and he's buying from other suppliers. And that's okay, but you should not lie about if your product is organic or not. So for this reason, I would not trust a seller that is misinforming the customer. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you're interested to know more about saffron and how to use saffron for its medicinal benefits, please do subscribe to this channel and we'll have more videos coming up very soon. For those of you who are still watching, thank you. As promised earlier, I'm going to give every single person a gift of either 100 mg saffron, pure Persian saffron, or a discount code which you can spend in our shop to get your 15% discount of anything you want to buy. Here is your discount code on the screen. Simply use this code at the checkout and you will receive 15% of the total of anything that you purchase. If you don't want to make the purchase but you still want to receive the 100 mg of pure Persian saffron, please note we will pay for the saffron but you will have to cover the postage cost. Please go to our website contact page and send us your details including a postal address and mention this video. If you live in Australia, postage is 750. And if you live anywhere else in the world, the postage will be around $17.50. But we will find the cheapest option for your location and we will let you know. I wish you all an amazing day full of bright colors, flavors and aromas. Please do subscribe and share. Thank you.